when we first started doing this, uh, it was $211,000 a year. It's very, very expensive to outfit us. So we started trying to break it down and seeing the necessity, what we needed, who needed what. Our patrol guys are the necessity at this point right now and our investigators, uh, because we've got to make sure that we can answer these calls in a safe manner. Um, so we were able to get that down <clears throat> to $139,000 a year for 19 new vehicles. They will issue, they will give us these vehicles, from my understanding, five at a time, um, and usually a month to two months apart, is the way that it was explained to me. We do currently have a line item in our budget of $35,000 for vehicle maintenance. Now with Enterprise, they will take care of all the major maintenance on these vehicles with the exception of oil changes or tire rotations, <coughs> tire changes and things like that. The county sheriff's office will still be responsible for that. So we would be in a position probably, because we're gonna to try to keep some old vehicles as backups um, and we'll have to, we're not, we're not wanting to change our school resource officers because they're not necessarily patrolling. They're just going from their house to the school and we're not wanting to change our core security because they're going from their house to the court. This is just for the road guys and investigators that's gonna be responding to calls. Um, so we would like to keep a little bit in the vehicle maintenance fund to maintain the vehicles that we currently have. So instead of $35,000 in the vehicle maintenance fund, it would probably be more conceivable, I guess, to have 20,000 in there, give 15,000 back, maybe hopefully to each year uh, to go towards this. So out of, um, that would technically bring it down to about $25,000 a year extra on top of what we currently receive that we would be asking for. So we have, we currently get $100,000 a year for vehicles. We'd be asking with the adjustment, if it's possible to do it that way, it'd be about $125,000 a year, the way that I look at it, um, if we're able to adjust that. The total cost of the lease is right around about 140,000 each year for five years. At the end of the five years, we give those vehicles back, we have the option to purchase them, and then we get the equity in that, and it's rinse and repeat. We start over. Every five years, we get brand new vehicles for these guys. Because once you get, a police car is a little bit different than a personal, my personal vehicle, your personal vehicle. They're driven different. Once you get 100, 150,000 miles on it, it's like having 300,000 miles on a personal car. Because the, the start, the start, and the stop, and the high rate of speed, uh, the potential of going through the mediums, and, and you know, it's, they're driven a little bit differently. So once we, we're some of these, and some of these you'll see on this list are a little bit low mileage, but um, a lot of them are the chargers. We're trying to get away from these chargers because they're not, they're just not practical to, to this county, what we're looking at. And when you heard me mention a safety issue earlier, we'd like to have all these vehicles set up the same. And how that is safe for us is I know the sheriff, when he ran for the election, ran under the, the platform of accreditation. And some of the accreditation, what we're looking at is, is pretty good stuff. We want all the vehicles set up the same. So if, if, I, if I'm a deputy and I'm working the road and I want to get into another deputy's vehicle, it's all the same. God forbid there's a terrible situation as far as the shooting and stuff. A lot, all these vehicles now have different radios in them. They're not set up the same and we're trying to fumble around for things. If everything is exactly the same, it, 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 makes, it makes it where it's, it's almost muscle memory. You know where to go. You know where to go if, 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 if some bad situation occurs. Our radios are getting old. Uh, these vehicles will come equipped with brand new radios. Um, these vehicles are the lifeline of the deputies. They are. Just like, um, just let's say for instance, just like a doctor or a surgeon. They have to have, they could be the best surgeon in Virginia, but they have to have the right equipment to be effective, and that's us. 